morning. My name is Jack McMee, and I live in River Creek, and I'm a member of the River Creek Confluence Park Committee, and we've worked on various projects throughout the park. To start, the key project of all of our projects was coming up with something that would add to the value of the park easy in 2016, 2017, and we had no ideas. So someone told me about a person named uh, Chris Van Black, and Loudon Sutherland Water something, I don't know what it was then, I never remember the name, uh, process, and so I went over and met with him. And he says, Jack, I looked at your land and I said, hey, there's a part there we can make into a bioswale. Uh, well, do you get a grant or something for that? And he says, yes. So we, we talked some more about it and he laid out a plan. I came back and talked to the committee and the fact that someone was gonna give us funds to do a project they thought was wonderful and I talked to our HOA into giving us the funds. So our landscape designer, Susan Abraham, actually came up with the idea and we were following up on what she said and she figured out all the plants that are in here, all the native plants and, and the process of building the bioswell. The, the bioswell was a $17,000 project with $10,000 worth of a grant. It's been very successful. Each year it's improved. The first year we had to pull a lot of weeds, second year we pulled some weeds, but now well, you can see it's pretty much filled in. And it's expanding actually up here. We planted some uh, native trees along it to fill in because we had ice trees here that were dying. So it's become kind of a focal point for the whole park. And it really was uh, Loudon Southern Water and the Virginia Conservation Assistance Program uh, allowed us to do this. Uh, we put up a sign, it's an expensive sign, but everybody comes and looks at it, so I guess that's a successful sign. And um, it's kind of the first cornerstone of what we did in the park and started everything else, which, which we followed up in the future. What is a bioswale? A bioswale is basically a place where water infiltrates through an area and you put in material here to filter it so the water that goes into Goose Creek, which is approximately um, 200 yards from here, is filtered as it comes out. And that's from the whole area behind here. There's golf course, there's parking lots, and uh, th that's the whole idea of the bioswale here. So what does it filter? It filters out all the debris, new, uh, other material like uh, well, we believe the harmful water that would be coming out of a parking lot and just stuff that would go into Chesapeake Bay. And this is our meadow. Right now it's kind of like in a intermediate stage, uh, but in 2017, working with the uh, Lawton Southern Water Conservation uh, District, Chris Ann Black, we, we started the meadow and we got a grant of $3,500. We matched that with additional funds and we've maintained it since then. So we're very happy with the overall concept of the meadow. Although we have had some, some setbacks, the one is called mugwort, it's grown here and we have to control it to allow the other plants to sit down and come up and uh, overcome it. But the invasive mugwort is uh, something we have to do. But overall, many people come here and look at the sign and uh, understand a lot more about it and see when they come down here in the spring and fall, they uh, fall they mainly see lots of butterflies and, and other different insects. Bees are here all summer and that's our meadow. Nice. One of the things I can say about the Loudon Selman Water District and VCAP programs is they're truly enablers. Basically, we started out with what they've done and they suggested other projects and we've started done those on our own. But if it wouldn't have been for starting with some fundings and grants, we probably never would have done this. And the success of it is can be seen here. This, these are all planted recently by our uh, local uh, middle school. And we're very happy with the continuation of native plants in the area and it helps grow the idea with the community that native plants are good and several of our uh, residents now have taken up and applied for the uh, like the uh, Audubon at Home grant too. So more people are getting into learning about native plants and wanting to have some in their own yard. Yes and also 
more accepting to see native plants here versus, gee, that's a weed over there. And it, it's basically, we've crossed that line into the good side. We had a great event. We had the Leadership Conservation Committee from uh, working with Loudon Southern Water District, a high school senior led a team to plant plants down in our park. And they concentrated on bluebells. Like for example, here's a bluebell sign, but you can't see it because they're ephemeral. They go back and they're gone now, but they'll come back next year and they'll be double the size. So we've been very successful with this. And, and Lutchie Howard who led it was, was a real spark plug in doing this. And when they're done, they went up and they planted a bunch of milkweed and the milkweed's doing great up in the, the new meadow we have. 